welcome to yet another episode on basic stuff LMAO. Today we'll be talking about sailing the seven seas. How about that? First of all, uh, I'd like to show you something extraordinary. I've got this uh, ancient alien artifact over here. Let's just uh, pause for a moment and see what it does. It is the famous compass of Jack Sparrow. Actually, it's not Jack's, but uh, anyway, he was showing it off and uh, became famous by using it. Anyway, because Jack Sparrow uh, actually stole it from the Blackbeard, and uh, Blackbeard again stole it from Jack Sparrow, and uh, then the boat sank, and the whole thing went into the famous locket of David Jones at the bottom of the sea, including this one. All kinds of loot and booty went down under into the inner domain below the waterline. So anyways, what happened is David Jones was looking at the compass and uh, you see, for example, it's a really useful thing. Here you can see we're moving due westward at approximately four and a half knots an hour under the current weather conditions and uh, if we need to go northward just take a turn and you're going north and you're going due east and you're going south again it's a really handy thing that way if you need to go into different places while remaining oriented. Like say, for example, you got the seven seas, you have the lower and the higher and the medium and the uh, expansive sea, and then you have the sea of perils, you have the sea of monsters, you have the sea uh, of the great uh, monsters of Dave Jones. It's uh, slightly different from the other sea, the other seas for the dragons, I guess. Uh, and then you have the Sea of Crystal in the north. So uh, you need to know your compass if you want to not get lost in the sea or be beaten up by monsters, especially towards the uh, western and the northern seas. Anyways, so back to the story. David Jones, he was showing off the compass, uh, going all kinds of places. So then Lady Jones got a little pissed off and uh, stole the compass and booted. David Jones out from the bottom of the sea into the sky and uh, David Jones fell back to earth and uh, died away but Lady Jones took the compass and went to the highest mountain that's where I met Lady Jones and uh, we had a little chat and uh, she gave me the compass and said go and sail the seven continents in an aerial ship so that's what I've been doing that's why I got this compass here. We'll be talking about it a bit more once we enter the happy forest place over here. What exciting stories we have today for all the crazy children. Oh man, you've never heard stories like this before. When you go to the bottom of the ocean, where all the monsters are resting and where the octagonal octopus is stretching its tentacles, hibernating and waiting for someone to dive deep enough to roar its head again and seize all who dare under the waves of the ocean. There is the ocean of leaves here and it's the autumn time. If you look at the compass over here, when you're going westward, it's the autumn time. When you're going eastward, it's the spring time. Uh, when you're going northward, it's the winter time. And when you're going southward, it's the summer time. Otherwise, uh, if you're going southward, it's the winter time. And if you're going northward, uh, it's the summer time, depending on which side of the Himalayas you happen to be sitting at with your compass. Anyways, those are the compasses that go around the world, but uh, 
what other use might we have for a compass like this. Let's talk about that for a moment, shall we?